Cheers. You've stumbled on into the Tap Takeover Podcast. Welcome to Beer News. Certified fresh as of March 29th, 2018. This episode's easily accessible beer is Single Hop Amarillo by Lakefront. Clocking in at 7%, medium-bodied Munich and caramel malt base complement Amarillo's signature grapefruit, melon, and pineapple flavor. Tastes like spring to us. In beer release news, Peruvian Morning has hit our market heavy. You should be able to find Peruvian Morning at any major craft beer distributor in the city of Milwaukee, at least. I'd say for at least the next couple of days. They came in hot and heavy, delivering over 60 to 100 cases to some locations. Also, in case you missed our Exploring episode, here's a little clip of the beer news segment for some more Central Waters news. We'd like to take it back for a moment to the third part of our Central Waters interview, episode 25. The fact that you guys are still very responsive to what your customers want, I think, is probably the key to why you guys have stayed ahead of the curve. Well, I appreciate that, and that's a uh, that's a really nice try. But we're still not going to make a New England IPA. <laughs> <laughs> we're still trying. We're still trying. <laughs> do you think it's a fat, or you think it's going to say, fat. yeah? Yeah, yeah, I do. This is my you're, first. You're acting opinion. like you really yeah. don't want it to be a fat. This well, podcast I mean, I might be so good. good. What do you enjoy about it? Uh, you get more of the actual hop aroma and not so much the I mean, bitterness. How is that different for you from a heavily hop pale ale or IPA? What makes it different? Uh, I, w- I would say a lot of it's on the IBUs, the specific IBUs, right? So, so you're talking about bitterness. Yes, so you're getting not definitely... Not hoppiness. You're talking about bitterness. Exactly. It's all about zero IBUs, I think, with the uh, hazy, fuzzy IPA. Okay. Um, you get so the, the, the funness of the... And the muddiness of the beer has nothing to do with what you enjoy. Well, I'm also a huge fan of Firkins, and, and on Firkins you get a very soft mouthfeel, which you're able to get out of a hazy kind of beer as well. It's full of flour. <laughs> that was gross. <sighs> no, when it's done well. But if we made a beer that was zero IBUs and super hops, yep. and it was crystal clear... Yeah, I would love it. But it wouldn't be a New England IPA, it wouldn't catch the fat. Uh, well, fine. Right? Yeah. Let's dance with the that's, devil. That's what I don't like about the fat. <laughs> and you would that's still be like asking the us the same question. Is, you see it? The thing... So, this is my point. This is what I'm narrowing yeah. down to. What I don't like about the fat is the fat has nothing to do with the flavor. Yeah. And the IBUs is that it's milky as shit. And people are drinking it because it's cool because nobody else would drink something that looks like that. It looks like you mix a bunch of Tums into a glass. And so, the flavor is what everybody likes. That flavor is achievable in any number of ways. Flour? <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. <laughs> Yes, um, but you can make a beer that's that that's presentable in terms of a clarity standpoint with that flavor yeah. profile, but it wouldn't match the style, so it would get rejected, and that's why I don't chase that yeah. trend. Sure. So trends aren't styles. Trends can turn into styles, mm-hmm. and maybe I'll put my foot in my mouth in five years, and we're making a New England IPA that. <laughs> Looks like orange juice. <laughs> we'll, we'll pull this audio out. <laughs> yeah, I will be here, won't be here uh, anymore, probably. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps saying that. In breaking news, Central Waters has announced that they are brewing a hazy IPA. Reports out of Amherst are that Simon is still employed as head brewer. Thanks, Jim, for that great piece of information. Solid Non-Fail Stout is bottled, kegged, and ready to be released. Join the Tap Takeover podcast at Mobcraft on Good Friday, March 30th at 7 o'clock for the release party. This epic Imperial Coffee Maple Stout, clocking in at almost 12% ABV, is sneaky smooth. It's brewed with local ingredients, including roast barley from Proximity Malt, maple syrup from Callis Honey Farm, and a custom blend of coffee from Anodyne Coffee Roasting Company. Make sure you stop by Mobcraft and get your bottles starting Friday. Toppling Goliath's Assassin Day is upon us this Saturday, March 30th. This epic imperial stout release brings in throngs of people to Decorah, Iowa every year. If you are among the lucky ones who won the right to purchase two bottles, we'll see you in Decorah. Don't forget, Toppling Goliath has also confirmed a seller sale to take place at 5 p.m. on Saturday at the brewery, too. No word yet on if seller sale bottles can be taken to go or have to be consumed on site. Founders 2018 version of KBS drops in our market. This barrel-aged coffee stout should be coming to the state in bulk, but don't be surprised if it disappears fast. New Glarus has recently confirmed that strawberry rhubarb will be back out this April. Make sure you're asking when it will arrive at your favorite spots, because just like last year, it will go fast. 
Pro tip for traders out there, strawberry rhubarb will be in high demand for out-of-state trading. In upcoming beer events, April in Wisconsin means one thing to the TTP, the beginning of beer fest season, and man are we in for some fun. The festivities begin on Sunday, April 15th at Serb Hall with Crafts and Drafts. In its sixth year, Crafts and Drafts also begins Milwaukee Beer Week. VIP tickets to the event mean VIP pours from most breweries at this event. Highlights include Black Gold, Triple X Black Friday Vintage Reserve, Bourbon County North Woods, and Wicked Weeds Medora Raspberry Sour. For an additional $10, you can also receive a one-ounce pour of Assassin from Toppling Goliath. The very next day kicks off multiple bar events surrounding Milwaukee Beer Week. Expect fantastic events all this week, and stay tuned for a special must-hit Beer Week events episode from us in the next couple weeks. On Saturday, April 21st, join the Shepherd Express and the Tap Takeover podcast as we celebrate all things Wisconsin at Stein and Dine. Enjoy unlimited samples from the state's finest breweries, cheese artisans, sausage makers, local restaurants, distilleries, and wineries. At 3 p.m., make sure you're at the Mobcraft booth as we will be having a time tapping of our collaboration beer, Solid Non-Fail Stout. Do you love the NFL Draft? Love to share and show off your collection of beer? Join us on Thursday, April 26th in Green Bay, Wisconsin, as we team up with Badger State Brewing for a bottle share and draft party. Tickets are only $5, and that allows you to bring two bottles of your own from your collection to share. Badger State, as well as other breweries, will be donating special release beers to raffle off. If you don't have a beer to share or unsure of what you should bring, still come with a charitable heart, and Badger State will help you with the bottle. Go to Badger State's Facebook page for event details and the ticket link. And this has been Beer News. Beer.